Here is how your Twitch viewers can send bits to trigger jump scares in your live stream using Chaos Tricks and it's really simple. So I'm going to take you to a past version of Harry who's going to show you how to set up Chaos Tricks to start with. And we start on chaostricks.com, click on download app. And if a download window pops up, just save it wherever you want. But you should also be given this page and you need to get the Twitch extension. So let's click on get it on Twitch. We'll click on the plus install button and you'll get this pop up here in the bottom right. I'm going to click on activate and set as overlay one. If we click on my extensions, you can see it's now confirmed as activated and on overlay one. And if you ever wanted to uninstall it in the future, this is where you'd uninstall the Twitch extension. Let's head back to the website. And as it's prompting, we now need to download the app if you've not done it yet. So it's typically a zip folder. You don't need WinRAR, I'll put it in the description if you want to use it like I am. I'm going to right click it and extract files. If you're not using WinRAR, there should be just an extract button for the Windows extractor. And I'm going to place it in its own folder on my desktop. So here it is, let's double click on this folder and we're just going to double click on chaostricks.exe to launch it. And unfortunately, my antivirus removed it. This is safe and it's used by many Twitch streamers. So I'm going to restore it, you should do the same. And I'll once again double click on chaostricks.exe to launch it. Now that we're on Chaostrix, we've got to click the authorize button to authorize it. And you should get this section here, which has authorization completed. If you don't have it, just click on the common settings and authorize again until it says the authorization is complete. Now that Chaos Tricks is set up, it's actually super simple to set up the jump scares. So click on the jump scare logo. It's usually at the top of the list. And you could open this guide for a setup guide. But to be honest, you don't really need to do that because all you have to do is press start integration. You probably get a warning like this, which obviously, yes, it controls, it contains, sorry, jump scares. But now let's look at actual setup and configuration. That's the key bit here. So I've now got this set up events tab and here I can set bit amounts to trigger different jump scares. So go through this, configure it to as many bits as you want. We've also got profiles for low, normal, average, high amounts of bits and you can set custom profiles as well. You can also do it with channel points if you want. If we head into the mod parameters, you can change which display. So I've got three monitors, so make sure it's showing on the correct display. You can, of course, change the volume and you can choose to enable sound alerts and voice alerts if you want. I don't think that makes much sense with jump scares. And if we head into events testing, we can test it. So trigger warning, there is obviously a jump scare coming. I'm going to play with no sound to go easy on both me and you guys but you should probably have your sound on when you're actually streaming. And just finally, you can check this dashboard, which just shows what has happened. And if you want to set up case tricks for GTA or Minecraft, you can watch these videos.